Mayday, mayday, come in Starbase. This is Gary Space, astronaut space explorer. I seem to be trapped on this mysterious asteroid far beyond the Chonos. We shall befriend this asteroid, and we shall call it Rock One. But seriously, this is Psychoduck, and I'm here with a competitive map feature, which happens to be set on an asteroid, so I thought that was relevant, because uh, Gary Space is awesome. And you guys should watch it if you haven't seen it. But anyways, this is Titan by Squally Da Beans. And yeah, I'm going to make fun of his gamertag again. Here, watch. <laughs> his gamertag's silly. Ha, huh. ha. Huh. Yeah, because, you know, I wasn't sarcastic the first time I did that or anything. But anyways, uh, enough about that. This is a big team battle map uh, set on the smaller asteroid on Impact, which uh, me and a couple other guys have dubbed Rock One. Um... And basically, it is a fairly simple map. It's asymmetrical, although it has some definite symmetrical qualities. Um, and it's kind of like Exile, in that the driving path is like a giant donut. And donuts are good. But, uh, you know, and other than that, it's uh, it's got some similarities to Exile. I'd definitely compare it to that map more than, uh, you know, uh, anything else in Halo 4, I suppose. But, uh, you know, basically, you've got you know, two hogs, two ghosts, and a neutral mantis, and, uh, you know, uh, two bases. It, it, it's actually a very straightforward big team map, um, and you can play it with, you know, uh, pretty much 5v5 and up, um, and it's really fun for, uh, you know, Slayer, of course, and uh, Capture the Flag, as well as Extraction, which I would highly recommend, and um, I know a lot of you guys complain about, you know, not being able to find the player count, for a uh, big team, you know, big team customs, but uh, I'm telling you, just head on over to halocustoms.com, you'll find plenty of people there to play big team and, of course, whatever else you're into. Uh, but, yeah, so we are pretty much playing CTF in, uh, you know, this footage here, and, uh, man, I'll tell you, <laughs> I've had some awesome games on this map, but when I went to uh, start getting footage, uh, it, I don't know, I was cursed, I could not. I could not get a good game to save my life. I, I played like five games in a row on here and got like <laughs> not not a terribly large amount of good footage. It was unfortunate. But, uh, you know, it, it is a really fun map nonetheless. Um, the bases are, you know, pretty simple. It's all in all really straightforward, but that just makes it a, you know, fun um, kind of can't think of the word I want to use, but, uh, you know, a more simple uh, big team experience. So, you know, you got to coordinate with your team. Um, the vehicles can be really important for flag runs and such. Um, of course, I'm doing mine on foot. But, uh, you know, the uh, Mantis is really important to control, as you would probably imagine. Um, but then, you know, the Warthogs and Ghosts are still super useful. You can actually avoid a Mantis in either of those vehicles without too much difficulty. And, of course, if you do it just right, you can counter a Mantis with a Warthog. It's extremely difficult, but it's doable. So, uh, you know, if you've got a good crew in the hog, you can do it. Um, and, of course, the map's just really fun to drive on because it is just a donut, um, which keeps it, you know, nice and smooth and uh, fun to drive. So, um, but, you, you know, despite being a donut and being kind of simple, it's still got some intricacies. Uh, you know, this area up here is kind of cool. It's got the, the uh, grab lift across the little uh, chasm and the little bridge, um, as well as, you know, there's the lower area uh, with the little trench, uh, which, you know, this asteroid's natural terrain provides for you, um, and that trench can be really cool for, like, flanking routes and for flag running, and, of course, in extraction, the, the uh, action just moves all around the map, and you get that fun stuff going on all over the place. So here I am getting in a warthog, uh, you know, Mox telling me to shookity dookie. And, uh, you know, you're not going to get that either if you haven't seen Garrett Space, but whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I think in the Warthog we end up getting crapped on by the Mantis, I could be wrong. Um, you know, again, when I was trying to get footage on here, I just, nothing seemed to go my way. But, uh, you know, the Warthog is extremely fun on here. I remember driving around, uh, with, uh, Mythic Fritz, uh, a while ago and just wrecking in a hog for ages but you know that that's just a sign of good balance when uh, you know one game you might be able to destroy in the warthog and the next you might get pooped on so uh you know that all works really well um but you know nonetheless it's a fun vehicle to use on here and it's very useful if you're trying to run the flag 
Um, of course, getting stuck by plasma grenades is always a pain in the ass, though. And why people can spawn with those, I'll never know. Um, but, you know, whatever. So, um, you know, basically, all this map boils down to is you got your central building, you got your two bases, and you've got the high side and the low side. But, uh, you know, it, again, keeps it simple, but very entertaining, very fun gameplay. Um, and, you know, Squally's a pretty cool guy, because he can, uh, you know, make a, a great 4v4 map, and then he can come up and uh, do something bigger like this. And then, you know, it, actually he's, like, pooping maps out left and right, um, just all over the place. I, he's got, like, so many, and I just splattered that guy, my bad. But, uh, anyways, stay tuned for uh, more cool maps in the future, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.